everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my final look in the Alice Through the Looking Glass series. This is inspired by time. If you'd like to see how I created this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to take this shadow here called Time on a Real Techniques Beige Shadow Brush. And this is very, very pigmented. So again, remember to tap off that brush really, really well. And I'm basically going to start placing this on the inner and outer corners of my eye. I've just taken a small amount first and then we're going to build that colour up because it is a dark colour so it's easier to start with less. Okay, I'm going to take whatever's left on that brush and I'm going to just start very lightly dragging it across. Okay I've got a couple of new brushes to play with today and they are all from Crown and this one here is the C200 Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm just going to take the tiniest amount of time on that brush and start blending out those edges. So far I found that these eyeshadows do blend really well but I do have a harder time blending time out. So it does take a little bit more work than the other shadows in this palette. So I just find it easier to take the tiniest amount on that brush and then kind of just start blending it upwards very slightly into that crease area. So this brush is doing a pretty good job of blending this colour out. I feel like it would be a really good brush for a transition shade as well, because it's really nice and fluffy. So I'll look forward to using it in future videos to see how it works out. And I'm just going to continuously blend this until I'm happy with it. So I've been blending for a good five minutes now and I am starting to get a little bit of arm ache, but it is starting to get there. Now I have taken it up over that crease area quite a bit and I don't actually mind that because it just makes it look really nice and smoky. And one of the things I will say about this particular eyeshadow is that I haven't noticed that when I blend that it blends away. Like some of the shades do tend to blend away a little bit in this palette. But this has a pretty good colour payoff and uh, staying power so that's just something to note. Okay, I think I'm happy with that for now. I feel like if I don't stop, I never will, so I'm just going to move on to this eye. Okay, so I'm now going to take Chronosphere on this crown brush, which is a C408 chisel shader brush. And I'm just going to start placing that in the centre of my lid. So I'm basically tapping the majority in the centre. And I'm just going to make slight movements left and right to blend that in with time. I've then just wiped off this little shader brush and I'm going to apply Dream On on top of time. Now Dream On is the dud in the palette. Um, and it doesn't really do much on top of time except add a little bit of sparkle so that's the way I'm going to use it. I'm then going to take my Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm going to take this shade here called Mirror and I'm going to place that on to my lower lash line. And I'm just going to blend out that lower lash line. Okay, I have a new eyeliner that I want to try today, and this is an eyeliner I've been wanting to try for ages. It's a gel eyeliner, and it's the um, number 77 from Inglot. So I've heard so many good things about this eyeliner. I have been using my NYX Epic Black Mousse Liner, and I love how black it is, but it's dried out so bad, especially now. It will create a little line, and then the product will just start flaking all down my face, so it's not great. And I'm kind of still on the hunt for a great gel liner. So we're going to give this one a go. 
Okay, so it is really nice and dark and it is gliding on really nicely, but most gel liners do tend to do that at first. So I think I'm just gonna have to keep on using it and see how it lasts throughout the next couple of months. But this is a much nicer change from the Epic Black Liner because it just glides on so easy. Okay, so the product itself applies really, really nicely. My own application is not so good today, but it's cool. We're just gonna roll with it. It's obviously not my day for eyeliner. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that formula so far and it's nice and black, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm just gonna go away, apply some eyeliner to my waterline and my tight line and then I'll apply some mascara and lashes and I'll be back to finish the rest of the face. Okay, lashes are on, so we're gonna carry on with the rest of the face, and I'm just using my NYX blush in taupe, and this is the Real Techniques 301 contour brush. I'm just gonna start chiseling out those cheekbones. And I'm also going to contour the rest of my face, but something I've recently liked doing is using the NYX blush in taupe to kind of chisel out the cheekbones because I feel like it gives more like a, a natural shadow. Um, and then and then swapping over to Hoola from Benefit for the rest of my face. Now this is a little bit more warmer and orangey on me. I just take the tiniest, tiniest amount and start applying it around my forehead and temples. But I just find that even though the contour is supposed to be creating a shadow, I almost like to use this to just kind of add a bit of warmth to my face. Because I'm really pale. So yeah, this is just something I've really recently enjoyed doing. And I do find, because I'm pretty pale, so it's hard to kind of highlight areas like the middle of my forehead, I just find that this really helps with that. So it just makes the center of my forehead look really really highlighted as well. Again I just like to take the tiniest amount and build it up and really really concentrate on blending it out. I just want to apply some to my jawline and I'm actually going back to the NYX blush and tape for this. I want it to look like more of a shadow. And last but not least I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender with no additional product just any residue foundation slash powder that's left on there from when I did my face earlier. And I'm just gonna start patting that around where I've placed that bronzer and contour. For cheeks, I'm going to use the blush from the Naked Flush palette. As you can see, I've hit pan on it slightly there. I love, love, love this blush. So I'm gonna use that today. I'm mainly going to focus this colour on the apples of my cheeks today and then very lightly kind of drag it back but not all the way. For highlight I'm going to be using the Balm's Mary Luminizer and I'm also going to use this on the inner corners of my eyes because I love to do that and I love the way it looks on the inner corners so that's going to go in there. And I'm going to swap over to this new brush. This is another crown brush and it's the C310 DLX Soft Fan Brush. And I've been wanting a fan brush for quite a while now, so let's see how this goes. Yes, I like this brush. And then just take a little bit more up this way. Just place some above the brow area. down the bridge of my nose. Keep its bow. So I'm just gonna kind of dab the center of the brush. And dab that in the center. Okay, for lipstick, I'm going to be using this NYX Liquid Suede Lip Cream in the colour Stone Fox. This goes really, really well with the Time eyeshadow itself. I'm going to show you a swatch of the lipstick and a swatch of the eyeshadow before I apply this. So Stone Fox is definitely darker, and it doesn't have those 
kind of blue tones going through it but I just feel like they complement each other really well. So I'm actually going to apply Stone Fox and then I'm going to place some time over the top of my lips as well. Now I'm just gonna take that time eyeshadow and I'm gonna press it over that lipstick. It just makes it like a really nice gunmetal-y, bluey, gray shade. Okay, here is the finished look. Okay guys, so that is my final look from the Alice Through the Looking Glass series. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this series as much as I enjoyed creating it. I will leave all of the links for the other videos in this series down below if you haven't seen those already. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing the Alice Through the Looking Glass movie that comes out this Friday. I can't wait to see it. I really, really loved the first one. I believe this one isn't directed by Tim Burton, but it is produced by him. So it'd be really interesting to see how it is compared to the first movie. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you in my next video.